Singer-songwriter Jake Owen had finished performing at the Route 91 Harvest Festival when the shooting broke out. We spoke to him earlier this morning by telephone. You were there. How are you processing this? It's very, very upsetting. I, I'm just absolutely blown away. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here inside a bus 100 feet from the uh, stage that I was standing on when this started happening. I'm watching the news now saying that there's more than 50 people deceased and 200 injured. And um, it's, I ran out, I was in the, we were in the middle of it. I mean, when the shots started being fired and you could hear it ricocheting off the top of the roof of the stage, we started just running in any direction we could because you didn't know where it was coming from. You know, if someone was on the ground, you didn't know where it was coming from. And uh, at one point, I was kind of sitting on the ground behind a car with about 20 other people crouched down behind the car and just the fear in everyone's eyes, but yet the, the feeling of everyone looking for someone to make sure they were okay was, um, it was just, an, it was, I've just never experienced anything like this before. What did you think was happening, Jake, when you first heard the shots? Number one, did you know they were shots? Well, ironically enough, when I walked up on the stage earlier enough, they were pretty, uh, the security was pretty tight because uh, Jason uses pyrotechnics and I think the fire marshal didn't want a lot of people back to stage or side stage due to the fire that was that would come off those pyrotechnics. So when I was standing up there talking to my buddy Luke Combs, who was also an artist on the show, um, all of a sudden you heard him start, you heard these pops start. And uh, I thought it was perhaps the pyrotechnics and then I realized once it started, like a, it literally sounded like a full on automatic Uzi or machine gun that was coming. Um, that's when you knew that it was not the pyrotechnics and it was someone shooting an automatic rifle. Jason released a tweet this morning expressing his condolences. Have you talked to him since, since, since this incident? I have. We've talked briefly through text message along with a few other of my friends that were here, they're artists as well. And, um, we all are just kind of in shock. You know, we all were checking on each other, making, everyone, making sure everyone was okay. I mean, because literally we, we were running in chaos. People had no idea where they were going, how to get. I mean, I was separated from my own crew and band. A friend of mine is here with me now. She got separated from her husband. They couldn't get a hold of each other. So we were all just in, you know, worrying what was going on. Yeah. How long did the gunfire last? How long did it appear to last? That's what's really in. That's what's crazy about this story is that I believe that the gunshots, no joke, lasted for anywhere between eight and ten minutes oh. because uh, it was almost like you could hear it first. And now that they're Absolutely. saying they're showing, obviously, where you're shooting from the mandala, it makes more sense now because the first few shots came off individually. It was almost like as if he broke the window or something of the room where he was shooting from and at that point just unloaded an automatic rifle out to the sea of people. Um, but I, by the t I mean, I ran off stage when he was firing shots, ended up getting in the street behind the car, sitting there for a couple minutes while he was still firing shots. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got back over to a crew bus in the middle of a parking lot a few hundred yards away, we all laid down inside the tour bus and you could still hear him firing shots. So, I mean, this went on for a good, like I said, six to 10 minutes. What is your message to your fans who, who were there, who across the country, who may be tuning in and watching you right now relive the horror of what happened just hours ago? What is your message to them? Um, you know, I, I, would, I would, at the end of the day, like I said to you a minute ago, I'm just a guy that sings songs, you know, and I, I, I write songs to my best ability about the things I know in life. And, um, I think it's important for us in the simple way we can say it to those out there that come to these shows every weekend and every week and they bring their families to not be scared of this. You know, we're still going to get out there and do this. And this is so unfortunate that things like this have to happen, have to happen in order for us to really see that this kind of thing is real.